Let me back in. I'll bring Laroakin out here, you tin tube. You tell Laroakin I went for his goddamn night song, and now he has to pay up. What are you looking at? Shit, it's you. You went looking for the night song after me. Please tell me you found it. Hope you lost fewer people along the way than I did. Bloody goblins. Laroakin should have warned us. If she's out there, I'm gonna find her. You mark my words. This armor is a construct animated by powerful magic. It has no soul or power of speech, but it follows the directives of its master. It feels no pain and knows no morality. It will act on behalf of its master and perish when the magic that binds it is severed. Still no sign. No sign of tentacles so far. The same. The water elemental appears to turn towards you, showering everything with a bracing mist. Have you seen how much the prices have risen? Might as well be throwing my gold straight into the lava elemental. want a pet elemental, but Mumba says I'm not old enough. I wouldn't let it die like the goldfish, though. Hello, board. The lava elemental looks at you placidly, near unfathomable heat beating against your face. <laughs> What are you doing here? Huh. I suppose that at least I can help with. Hope you found what you're looking for. It'd be Not your body. For me, I think. You'd be How can I help you? Then head upstairs and be careful. Something terrible might happen if you're not paying attention. There's not much left. Looks like folks heard the absolute was on the march and bought everything that wasn't nailed down. Where is the famous Laroakan? His shop is a nutter shambles. Bloodstorch. John Wee. Do you mean? Mother's Not leave. One for customer oh, God. service. Typical. I saw somebody go up to La Rose. Not and everyone can just wave their it's hands and be. Excuse me, can't stop. There's only so much shopping time left before the absolute breaches the city. It certainly is at that. Oh, one moment. I'm trying to work out how many pinches of mugwort is equivalent to one of Mother's leaf. Would you mind if I finish browsing before you muscle in, please? I was here first, actually. I simply must have it. Oh. Perhaps not. Did I not tell you I was busy? If I have to hole up in my basement without my favourite parchment, I'll go spare. You're a fellow bargain hunter, I see. The hidden gems here are far better value than the rare books Tolna keeps locked behind the desk. I don't 
Literature department. Can I help you? Whist. These books are sensitive. They prefer an environment of quiet reverence. Huh. Bold. You might have heard that our library has a collection other shops would lack the skill to curate. Between us, even Master Lerokin was reluctant to house them in his tower. The pen is mightier than the magic wand, apparently. <laughs> They're locked away here for their and our customers' safety. Our finest reserve includes the Tharkia Codex, the Annals of Cassius and Netherese Folly, Sites of the Sealy, and the Curriculum of Strategy. Do any of those interest you? It is said to be written by Lord Cassius himself, the Netherese Arcanist who attempted to replace the goddess Mistra, failed, and was banished for the attempt. Great magical knowledge lies within those pages, but not many can withstand it. I can't explain now, but it's very important we get hold of that book. Very, very important. The annals of Carsus would no doubt have much to say about the crown's true nature. If only you could read them. Books as temperamental as these are not on sale. They are secured in our vault, where none can harm them, nor can they do any harm. Consider yourself lucky to have learned of such a book's existence, and then forget about it. The annals of Carsus are best left unread. of these tones is enough to stimulate most. Do you think that zombie looks... fresh? Is fresh good? I never know with zombies. Apologies. I'm with a customer at the moment. The newborn zombie gazes at you hungrily, pus drooling from its slack jaw. I should cook food right on my body, so I would... You make fun <laughs> Welcome, dear patron, to the floor at the top of the stairs. If you have information about the night song, great riches await. If you are here to waste the great wizard Laroican's time, reconsider. Let your knowledge determine your path forward. Not a title for me, I think. Welcome back, dear patron. Remember that the great wizard doesn't suffer fools who waste his time. Let your knowledge determine your path forward. 
The Night Song is an immortal being, the child of a deity. Nicola. Uh, Craig's aim is much improved, but uh, still leaves something up to chance. Yes, sir. All right, Craig. Ready? Aim. Oh. Hmm. We have a visitor. At ease. McClaw, you may go. See no night song. Surely you wouldn't have entered my tower without the night song in hand, hmm? Surely my worthless apprentice wouldn't have allowed you to waste my time. Huh. Fascinating. You've been to Shah's temple, haven't you? To the Shadowfell? Alas, I've paid for a good deal of very privileged information. Now I await the results of the generous contract I've commissioned. Answer now, or see what happens when fools misuse my valuable time. I'm... Growing tired of this repartee, my friend. Let us cut to the chase. Beautiful, isn't it? Worth more than your life, too. I bought it from a Kalashite warlock. There's very little of his soul left to him. Hmm. It can bind a celestial to the wearer's service with a snap of the fingers. And this? This can keep her in place. Forever. You aren't the only one who knows what's on offer for the Night Song's retrieval. Consider carefully whether you'd like to see your fortune in someone else's hands. Someone who might slip into your camp at any moment, or hurry you through street and inn until you're run ragged and surrender. The choice is yours. Fortune or imminent death. I know you'll choose wisely. Bring him the night song, won't you? He'll be so very pleased, so very happy if his plans materialize.
Mother's milk, your visage speaks of ill tidings. Speak, ally mine. What troubles you? Is he indeed? Pray tell, what does he seek from Dame Aelin? <sighs> Magicians and their machinations. I have had enough for an eternity. I will wring his neck until he's dead. Oh, his end will be one more strand in the great braid of our friendship. I'm coming with you. I'd like to get a few licks in myself. My darling, we agreed you'd scout for the nearest Salunite Enclave this very night. Let us divide our efforts, all the sooner to be reunited. I won't let you go alone. Who knows what this wizard might have planned? Our closest ally will accompany me, won't you? It will be a swift and fruitful chore. Hie we to this Laroican right away. I am as eager to meet him as he is to ensnare me. Magician in a tower, hiding away from the frightening world. What are you so scared of, Magus? Not the Night Song, surely? Why, she's nothing but a relic to be purchased and pursued. My God. The Night Song is a person. At last. There you are, my dear. You will address me with due deference. I am Dame Aelin. And you are a whelp without honor, without pride, with nothing but a tower full of trinkets. My apologies, Dame Aelin. I meant no disrespect. Perhaps we could start over. I am the Rowican. I am most pleased to make your acquaintance and that of your fine companion, who perhaps heard I was looking for you. <laughs> Dame Aelin, I have discovered a device that would allow your immortality to be shared. It would cause you no harm, no pain of any kind. You serve your mother, Saluna, I believe. She who has blessed our realm with so many gifts. Honor her by sharing yours. You do not seek to share my gifts. You seek to poach them. You dare to threaten me with the same magic that held me in torment for a hundred years! <laughs> I had hoped to appeal to your better nature. Perhaps I overestimated you. Hmm. No bother. I have an arsenal of implements capable of convincing you to see reason. But his magic lives. I'd hoped you'd keep an open mind, but it seems you're determined to make this as difficult as possible. Boy, at the ready. Once I've taken control of the Asima, she must go directly into the caging runes. No, Master Lerorkin. I would never have assisted you if I knew you planned such horrors. You lied to get the Night Song here. Made us all believe she was nothing but a relic. I have seen what true leadership can accomplish. 
but never under your tutelage. Put your tongue, you child. I could make it such that no wizard in the realm will touch you. If they're all like you, I think that sounds like an excellent bargain. <laughs> oh, face us, charlatan! We who detest you so! Mamadons! Imperatum! Might will prevail. I speak they So much for peace. Should get started. Ah!
What should I do? Got to move. Take you. Let me recite their demise. Time to push my luck again.
she know? Leroican. You who would see me caged. You who would purchase my submission with profane gold. Let every wicked magus, every vile murtherer, each slaver and misery merchant see. Dame Aelin is watching. She is indomitable. And when her face lights the shadows of your wrongdoing, you are broken by its beauty! Firehead fool is dead. Yet as I stare upon his corpse, I feel... Sadness. Why? Perhaps. Yet if I could run him through a thousand times, I wonder... A battle has tired my mind. Made me susceptible to flights of fancy. You were excellent in battle, as is your way, and I am proud to fight at your side. I will catch my breath, then to camp I will bring my bones. Moon Maiden be with you. Dear patron, remember that the great wizard doesn't suffer fools who waste his time. Let your... It is not in a Githyanki's nature to say thank you. Our language doesn't even have a phrase for it. Kraith Khan Jan is the closest equivalent I know. May your enemies know agony. But after releasing me from Orin's grip, there is only one proper response. Thank you. Sincerely. <sighs> well, good then. Let's carry on. Thing to do. You must have it. You've set foot in a restricted area. A swift exit may be in order.
door named after a wizard of renown. The owls must be behind Carsus's door.
careful not to trigger that thing. Watch how you go. There's a trap. So much for a warm welcome. Watch how you go. of Carsus, the preamble to a civilization's downfall, committed to parchment by the very hand that wrought its destruction. If the crown atop the Elder Brain was truly forged by Carsus himself, this book will confirm it. All we have to do is turn the page. Raphael was telling the truth. There's no doubt. The crown of Carsus is what's controlling the Elder Brain. And this, this is no mere journal. It contains Carsus' original plans for the crown's construction. His designs for godhood. Not exactly. It was what he did with it that sealed his fate. And for a time, that of magic itself. The crown was merely the means. The book states that the crown and netherstones were originally one construct, seemingly sundered at the moment of Carsus's downfall. If we can collect the crown setting and the three netherstones, and with the correct invocation of certain spells and gestures detailed in these notes, I think I could reforge it. to every end you can imagine, and a thousand more beyond. Just think of it. The power of the gods in mortal hands at last would be free of doctrine and dogma, confined only by the limits of our imaginations. 
We must discuss this further, but quietly, privately. Find me later, and I will show you something truly divine. I will show you what a crown like this could mean for both of us. I can hardly wait. to be here. You don't have permission to be here. I think it's very funny. No time to talk, I'm afraid. Expecting someone. Quite ready for you. No time to rest. I don't think I deserve you at times. I told you of my ambitions, the likes of which many would balk at. And yet you remain at my side. Gladdens me to hear you say that. Perhaps I can show you my gratitude another way, by demonstrating exactly what ascension will mean to me. To us. Words alone are not enough. Permit me to show you. Please, close your eyes a moment. Astra Navigamus. Few mortals ever glimpse what you're about to see. But don't be alarmed. I'm here with you. Now, open your eyes. The outer plains. This is where gods dwell. They observe us from afar, where they make playthings of us. They will keep all of this from us the power, the possibilities. They only want us to serve them, to pray to them, and ultimately to die for them. But what if we didn't need them? What if we wielded their power instead and helped ourselves in all the ways they refused to? I could make that happen. I could make this illusion a reality with you by my side. No, not like that. I don't want to join them, I want to better them. A god's powers, paired with a mortal conscience, a mortal heart. The tadpoles, the orb, these threats to our existence. The gods could aid us if they wished, but instead they cower behind Io. So let us act ourselves. With the power of the crown, any foe would be rendered impotent. Any obstacle would be dwarfed by our might. I used to believe Mistress Forgiveness was worth dying for. But I was wrong. You showed me just how much I have to live for. With you, I forget, my goddess. I love you. Tell me you feel the same way. Tell me you want what I want. 
please. But think what I offer. The vastness of eternity to explore the weave at our fingertips. You would really prefer me as I am? Then it will be so. With you and I together, there's not a force in existence that can stop us. You put the stars to shame. Let's sit here another while. I want to drink you in. Elminster. Oh, hello, my boy. No, don't mind me. I'm uh, just enjoying a lungful of bull derrion <laughs> Yes, a distinctive aroma, though perhaps not one worthy of bottling. I hear you've been browsing in the most esteemed of emporiums, sorcerous sundries. <laughs> uh, indulge my curiosity. What wonders did you discover there? Uh, is that so? Well, far be it for this doddering old archmage to pry into another man's shopping bag. Oh, uh, as we're here, I shall offer you a morsel of general and non-specific advice. Yours to apply to any relevant knowledge you may have recently acquired. Some things are best left broken, and some people are well worth restoring. What are you saying? Or rather, what are you not saying? Mistra knows you defied her, Gail. Well, of course she knows. She's Mistra. She bids you come to her holy shrine in the Stormshore Tabernacle. There, she will grant you an audience at last. Mistress willing to speak to me again? Was this your doing, Elminster? She knows what I see in you, just as I know what she sees in you. I was not born an old man. I know all too well what it's like to have a goddess fill your heart with longing. Looking at you is like gazing into a mirror that shows centuries long past. The past is the past, Elminster, and the future is, well, still to be decided by me, not by Mistra. 
If there is another way, I trust you can find it. It is not in your nature nor mine to stop looking, to accept the first answer to any dilemma. Do what you can. Put that mind to work. Trust in yourself. Trust in the weave. If you are willing, trust in Mistra. There is a conclusion yet to be written in this sorry tale, Gale of Waterdeep. And yours is the quill that will write it. Never a dull moment. Whatever you need, you only have to ask. I've often asked myself the same question, and never really found a satisfactory answer. He clearly sees something in me that I can't. The wisdom and intelligence required to overcome almost insurmountable odds, perhaps? All the stupidity required to attempt it. I take it as a compliment either way. You don't get to be 13 centuries old without becoming a sound judge of character. And cheese, apparently. <laughs>